Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna get some, uh, collect these okra seeds today. Kind of show you how I do it. Uh, and then we'll, we'll kind of talk as we go. First of all, I'm gonna say thanks to all the veterans. Uh, today's Veterans Day. I appreciate, you know, all your sacrifice that you did. And I uh, hope you have a good day. I'm sure most of you have to work, so. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is uh, go around, I'm gonna collect all these okra seeds and uh, I'm just gonna get the good ones, you know. This is a good one. This is one I wanna save. Like uh, this one. This is one I don't wanna save. Yeah, it's not as good quality, but. So I'm gonna get several of these and I'll show you how I do them. It's actually really easy to do. I got my bucket here. So I just uh, take one of the uh, pods, I guess you would call them, and I just hold them over the bucket, open one side, and they just fall right in. And I throw that away and uh, makes good compost. I always collect more than I ever need. Cause then I mean, it don't take a whole lot to do. Main thing is to have your bucket there cause I'll show you here. I'll move my camera and show you here in a second. Cause if you try to do it in your hand, that's the way we first tried. You see how that went everywhere when you, well, let me move my camera here. Okay, you can see how much I got there. I probably got, ounces there in just in just a short little time I mean it ain't hard to do uh, it's really easy and that's why I started doing this we actually kind of did this by accident I think uh, I think the year before last we was cleaning out some and uh, uh, I was looking at it and I said holy cow I told my wife we ought to save this for next year so we've started saving our own okra seeds that's about the only seed we save uh, you know, it's kind of expensive if you get a good variety. This is a good variety, we like it a lot. So I'm gonna try a different variety next year, but I I'm not, can't remember exactly what the name is. When the seed catalogs start coming in, we'll, I'll go over that with you. But I'm gonna pick some more and uh, uh, get some more in the bucket here. Now some of these little ones I'll save and I'll just leave these out here and uh, I think the birds come by them because you can tell where they've been getting into them. So I'll leave them out there for the winter birds. You know, I've got a little pet peeve. I, I don't know if it's a pet peeve or a, you know, I need to, I've been looking for a male goat to go with Chip, you know, as a companion. And I won't, I have to have one that's polled because he's polled, right? I don't know if you have to, but I'm a little nervous. I have another male that's got horns and he don't have any, I'm sure. I don't know, I guess it depends who you talk to. You know, if you think about it, that's, uh, you know, if they got into a, which they will, you know, a little butthead. So I really need to find one pole. But anyway, here we go, I'm rambling again. <laughs> I've been looking for one. And I kind of, you know, of course I want a, a, a dwarf. A Nigerian dwarf would be good. A, uh, a mini Nubian like he is would be good. Uh, but I kind of want him weather. I want him to be weathered too. But anyway, I finally found one and on Craigslist just the other day. Uh, Nigerian dwarf pulled, uh, not weathered, but I thought, well, that'd be okay. And 
120 bucks. That was the title. So I got to looking at it, read down to the description, you know, yada, yada, yada. So at the end it said 120 bucks, $120 plus a rehoming fee. I thought, what, what exactly does that mean? Is that like an extra fee? Are you gonna come to the house and set him up? And you know, feed him, get him fed and all this. What is a rehoming fee? I've seen that a lot. And I mean, just price it. Why can't people just price it? So anyway, that's my rant for today. Just kind of, you know, this is a perfect deal, but I'm not going to participate in that. You know, I might be wrong. If you think I'm wrong or if I don't understand something about it, look at it. I mean, it happens. It's Anything you go buy nowadays is, well, not even, but a lot of stuff does. So I don't know if it's something I don't understand or if it's just the way people get get you to look at it and they want to charge you more or something, you know, it's bait and switch. Yeah, I see it, bait and switch. But anyway, I don't know. So anyway, since I've been talking, I'm about doubled my thing. I'm gonna go get some more and I'll be right back. I've already done my chores for today and uh, look at this egg I got. It's uh, my shirt is blue, and uh, this, I don't know if it's showing up or not. It's almost like a, uh, like a sea green or something. Pretty cool. And uh, they're starting to, my big flock's starting to molt, so our egg production went, it's in the ground. But this is a new egg, so this is a new Americana, I guess, started laying. I haven't seen this one before. I've been getting about, uh, you know maybe three eggs this week blue eggs from the Americana so this is a different one I think and I got another one started laying too this uh, this is the first egg see how little it is so I think that's a uh, when the bar rock started laying so I mean we're not getting very good production right now because the big flock is really in, into molting heavy the other two I don't know I don't know if the newest one will, I don't know if they'll molt this year or not since it's so late. And the other one, I have a couple in the other one starting to molt. So I'm getting, you know, not, not a whole lot of eggs a day. I wish there's a lot more. Because, uh, anyway. Uh, I'm probably going to get back on the blackberries tomorrow if it's not raining. It all depends on the weather. So, I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to this. I've got quite a bit in here, and I guess since you made it this long in the video, if you think you want some of this, just you shoot me an email. I'll put my email down in the description below, and uh, I'll send you a pack of it for free. I'll mail it to you for free and everything. All you gotta do is send me your address, and I'm not, I don't keep a list, an email list or anything. Uh, that's, I mean, I proved that if you was in the giveaway we just had, and. Uh, uh, I had a question and answer session too, and I had a bunch of quite a few emails on those, and uh, you know I I don't save them or anything. So if you want some of this seed, I'll, I'll give it to you. I've got quite a bit here. I got more than enough to share. Cause I mean I got more now than I'll plant. If I do one row, if I do a double row, this is a double row. I got enough to do more than a double row, and I still got quite a bit here. I hit that up on the other end, pretty heavy picking it to eat and freeze and stuff. So. Not a whole lot, a whole lot on that other end. I about got all this stuff. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Uh, hope you learned a little something about seed saving. I'm no expert by any means, and this is the only seed I saved, like I said. So, but we're getting ready for next year. Won't be here, be here before you know it. It's the uh, what? November the 11th, and it feels like it's. Uh, it's warm now. I'm almost breaking up sweat just standing here. I should have wore a short, short sleeve. But hopefully I'll find me a male goat for long because uh, I think our girls are pregnant. And they'll be having their babies. Let's see. I know the one, i seen them. i seen Chip and Clover. You know, this is a family show, but, you know, looking at each other. And that's been about three and a half months ago. So I kind of expect her to have one, have her kids in uh, middle of December. And I seen uh, Gigi and Chip looking about two, probably two months ago. So they'll, she'll probably be here in July, I mean uh, July, 
January or something like that. So I gotta get him out of there for long. And uh, I really need to find him a buddy, but I, I'll keep you posted when I go get him while I'll, I'll take you along. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, we appreciate all your subscribers. Once again, I wanna say happy Veterans Day to the veterans. Uh, we appreciate your sacrifice you made for our country that allows us to do what we wanna do. You know, freedom to farm. And uh, hit the like button if you like it. And we'll see you down here. Oh, support your local farmers. I know it's, uh, we've uh, we've been doing pretty good with our soap business and creams and stuff. And so uh, if you want any of that stuff, you met us at the, uh, one of the craft shows we did this year, you know, just send me a message. Uh, we got a big order. We've got two big orders this week that we sent out. So, you know, it makes a good Christmas and it's fairly inexpensive. But anyway, I'm rambling. Support your local farmer and we'll see you in the next video down here on, on the farm.